let's go ahead and add google's new gemini model to our website and the very first step is we need to head over to vertex ai studio and activate the gemini model so to do this you need to head over to console.cloud.google.com slash vertex ai slash generative i'll leave that linked in the description and once you do that you'll arrive at this very page so all we really want to do now is for now we just want to test out the multi model i've tested out the other language vision and speech models but they don't seem quite ready to me the multi model it seems fully functional at this moment Moment. so for now we're just going to do that now you will be requested to activate the api just make sure you activate whatever api needs to be activated and then you can head over here to the multi-model section over here in the left panel and then select open so once you open that it takes you over to this prompt screen where you can actually start prompting the model now there's a lot that you can do here you can write an entire prompt and have the model reply to you this is a very good way to test the model but for now i'm just going to go ahead and type in hey and then i'm just going to go ahead and submit that and you can see the model can go ahead and respond to my particular prompt over here but over here where it shows the code it shows you a clear example of how to implement this exact functionality inside of python or node.js java and cal but for now we're going to focus on the python script side of things and i've prepared for you guys a really convenient replete that has an exact copy of the open ai assistance api but now it works with google's vertex api to allow you to be able to use the gemini so that you can easily migrate your website's bots over from the open ai assistance api to the gemini api so i'll leave that linked in the resources section in my description and once you head there it should look something like this all right are you new here listen we empower individuals and businesses to thrive with ai join our ai pioneer group to unlock access to resources including courses tools and insights to help you start and grow your ai business get and stay ahead of the competition and master using ai and machine learning technologies to make income online we believe in pioneering industries and always staying a step ahead of the competition so go ahead and join the hundreds of our members that are already using our tools to build and grow their ai businesses by clicking the very first link Link in the description now this over here is the complete code that you need to be able to run this entire assistant there's a lot of things that i've done in here but i'm just going to walk you through the really important sections that you'll need to modify while allowing gemini to work on your particular website and the very first major change that you need to make to this particular file is over here where it says vertex ai dot in it and then it goes ahead and shows the project and then a project id over here so you need to find your own project id and replace it with mine over here now to do this we'll head back to this bright white google cloud page over here and then you click the name of your project at the top here and you should be able to see your project id inside of this table so all you need to do is just grab this and then copy it and then head back into the replit and just replace the text that's here with your particular project's id now next at the top here you can see that we're loading in a file over here this is the secret key file from google that contains all the api keys and different access information that google needs in order to verify that this computer is actually authorized to run your google cloud api so we need to actually head back to the google cloud console and download this particular file over here so to do this you need to head to console.cloud.com nothing else just the home page and then you need to click on this i am an admin section over here and now we want to head down here to where it says service accounts just go ahead and click that and if this is a new project you might not have a service account here but no need to worry about that simply head to the top over here where it says create a new service account enter the service account name which can be pretty much any name a service account id is the username of whoever you want to be in charge of that service account so this could just be your own email address over here and and then enter a simple description over here now once you go ahead and hit continue it's gonna go ahead and ask you to grant this service account access to your project really you just want to give it whatever access you want it to have so you could give it the owners access and that kind of thing but just give it access and then it's gonna ask you to give users within your account access to this service account and this again would be your email or whichever user you want to be able to use and control this particular service account now once you're done creating your service account they're gonna take you back to this service accounts page over here and all you want to do is click on your service account and then head over here to the keys section and you won't have any key here if your service account is new so all you need to do is click this add key button you need to create a new key and it's going to immediately download a key onto your computer so this is going to be a json file that contains a bunch of settings that helps you link remote computers to your google cloud api now back in our repo over here we need to download that file into our file section over here so literally just download so literally just grab that file drag it into your file section over here and it will look something like this now you need to go ahead and select this file select rename and you use ctrl a to select everything in here copy its name and just replace it with the particular name that's over here so for me when i paste it goes ahead and remains the same and really what's happening here is we're just checking the current working directory we're loading in the secret file and then we're saving the file and then we're initializing vertex ai over here to use that particular file now with that set up you've set up everything that you need to be able to use the google cloud api and gemini inside of this particular file but now we need to prompt gemini to behave exactly the way we want it to behave so this is a two-part step if you head over here to this prompts.py 
profile. You can see I'm prompting Gemini over here to behave like the clinic assistant that I've shown in my previous open AI videos. It's simply a clinic assistant that helps clients order and have medicine delivered to them or book sessions with their doctor. Of course, you can replace this with whatever behavior you want your Gemini assistants to have. And then at the bottom here, we have instructions for this Gemini assistant. Now you'll notice that I'm telling it here to use its previous messages as context while replying to the user. And this is because of the current state of this non-chat multi-model state that Gemini is in. Because at the moment, Gemini does not keep track of previous messages. And like I said, I've tried out the chat API, but it's currently not functional. So I'll give it a few more tries and I'll make a new video if I can get it to work. But for now, the current method that I've set up for you allows you to use context inside of your chat, but it does it in a pretty manual way where we're just keeping track of all the previous messages. So you can see we're doing that here using this add context. And then we finalize the context that sends the entire message history over to Gemini. Gemini uses that message history and as you're going to see, it actually works quite well. Now with all that set up, all we need to do is run our replit. So I'll go ahead and hit run and our repo is now running. I'm going to go ahead and click this new tab button to open this up in a new tab. And at the top of this tab over here, if I just move it down, it shows you the link that your repo is running on. So this link is quite important. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And then finally, now we can head into voice flow and start linking our Gemini assistant. So instead of voice flow, I've already set up this entire voice flow for you. Again, I've shown this voice flow in my previous videos, but all we need to do is over here where we have these links, we actually need to select that link and just select the entire precursor to that link and just paste in the new link that you have for your particular repo after you forked mine. And you just want to do that again for the second post request over here. Again, just select all and then just paste it in here and then just close that. And with all that set up, you're good to actually start testing out your assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and press run. I'll go ahead and start the test. And then here it goes. It's giving me the welcome messages. So I'm just going to send it a message. Now the message that I've sent it simply highlights that I'm not feeling too good right now. And then I've sent it symptoms of a flu. So I'm just going to go ahead and send that. And it goes ahead and responds with, let's go ahead and perform a symptom analysis. And then after that, it suggests booking a session with a doctor or performing some sort of delivery. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to replace what was previously an open AI assistance API endpoint chatbot of that sort with this new Gemini endpoint. Now, the most important issue that I found while trying to do this is maintaining a back context of the messages. So the message chat history. So I'm going to go ahead and continue playing around with those. And, and once I do have some new information on that, I'm going to make sure that I post a new video on that. But yeah, please let me know what you think about the new Gemini API endpoint. I do think Gemini is, it is quite good because it is much faster than GPT-4, at least in my current experience. But I am super eager to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Thanks a bunch for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.